project selection how are projects selected in an organization are they selected randomly or is there a process to select projects what does pimbox say according to pimbox projects are not selected randomly no there is a process to select project hello friends today i am recording a quick video on how to select projects what happens why does a company do this particular project it starts with a business need your organization uncovers a business need okay fine there is a particular business need let go and do a project but you just can't do a project just like that you prepare a business case the business case will list down the benefits of doing that project once the benefits like let's say what's the dollar value maybe it's a reputation or you want to get into a new domain okay so let's say you're servicing only for it projects now you get into engineering projects it could be a domain all these things will help you realize the project now you just can't start a project with a business need business case and benefit plan internally you have to make one document to initiate a project and that document is called project charter In this video I'll be helping you understand how business needs are uncovered. Business needs and demands can come from market demand. Market demand. Sorry. Market demand. Let's say you're a phone maker and your phone is selling very nicely. You're like having people lined up Okay, now there are like thousands of people standing outside your store to buy something. So you need to get something new to ensure that people come back again and again, right? So you start a new project and then come with new features with the next version. Let's say version 1.2. One is the first one. Then you come with version 2. Okay? And then after that, you can also start projects seeing a strategic opportunity. Let's say you are a service provider. You are only servicing IT projects. You strategically want to move in engineering projects, so you want to start uh, looking into projects over there. That's the need and demand. The need is you want to move from, along with IT, you want to do engineering projects also. So that's a strategic move. Strategic move. Okay. Then, it could be a customer request. Your customer would come and say, please redesign my website. Customer request. Okay. The customer could come and request saying that, okay, I have got a thousand page website. Can you please redesign it to look like this? Could be that. Or it could be a social need. Social need. Let's say there is a rehab project you want to do. Okay. Your company wants to rehab. There has been an unfortunate disaster, natural disaster or flood. So they're rehabbing people to one place or another place. So that's a social need. But it also needs a project. Or it could be for environmental reasons. You're starting a project for environmental reason. Environmental reasons. Environmental reasons. Okay. Or it could be because of the government laws. Government laws. There's new tax law. There's new GST. The VAT has been removed. Okay. There are some legal implications that will create for new project. Or you want to move to a new technology. And one of the companies that are working, we moved from the Java platform to Python. Right? We are working on one of these technologies on this particular product. So Java was like not being helpful all the ways. So they thought let's try using Python to get more libraries and helpful for us. Right? So for any of these reasons, you could start a project. So market needs and demands could come from any one of these. So let me just summarize this. This is very important for your PMP examination. Understand that projects are not selected randomly. There is a process to select a project. It starts with a business need then a business case is created and then the benefits are realized and then a project charter is created. How the business need is uncovered? Over here, needs and demands are uncovered in many ways. One of them could be a market demand or it could be a strategic opportunity or it could be a request from customer or it could be a social need 
or the environmental need or government loss or it could be a new technology for a pmp examination remember for the pmp examination projects are not selected randomly these are the three steps step one step two step three on how a project chart has evolved and how a project has been done executed understand this during the business need business case and the business preparation and the project charter a project manager manager is not involved sometimes or only the project charter the sponsor might collaborate with him but for a business need for a business case and benefits plan how the benefits a project manager is not involved it is done by the sponsor or some subject matter experts or some say executive level people this people this video will help you understand why a project is selected and how you can answer some questions on the pmp examination leave a comment below if you want to see some more videos on uh, preparing for pmp examination thank you very much have a nice day